That's it. It was a small but significant ceremony, a gathering of six countries newly signed on to the conventions that establish rules preventing statelessness. In the case of Serbia, it will give 6,000 stateless Roma a chance at citizenship. In Turkmenistan, 20,000 former Soviet citizens will have the same opportunity. I think from, for us in UNHCR, it's a bit of an anomaly that statelessness still exists in the 21st century. Because, you know, how can it be that in, at the time of nation states that there are actually people who fall through the cracks and who do not have a nationality? The two-day ministerial meeting was attended by over 145 countries. It was hailed by the High Commissioner as a breakthrough. Twenty countries pledged to join the conventions, and as many said they would address statelessness in other ways. There were concrete pledges made by states and other international organizations in relation to the improvement of the protection regime of both refugees and stateless people. Ralia Abulkanova is stateless. She shares her fate with an estimated 12 million people worldwide, all without a country to call their own. For me, the country is être sans identité, sans personnalité. Savoir qu'on n'a pas de racines, qu'on n'a pas d'état, qu'on n'a pas de la maison, qu'on n'a pas de, de chez soi, qu'on n'a pas uh, d'identité, on n'a pas de personnalité, ça uh, c'est presque invivable. The High Commissioner describes statelessness as one of the most forgotten human rights issues. He added that the numbers of pledges were remarkable all going a long way to improve the plight of thousands of stateless people.